Following a referendum in 1979 under the Honorable Milton Cato, St. Vincent became the last of the Windward Islands to gain independence. Inside Story takes a look at the man Milton Cato, the father of independence. I had the opportunity of meeting him under several different circumstances and he always impressed me as someone that when once you met him you'd want to meet him again because he always was willing to share with you a number of things, a number of his own past experiences. And one of the first things really that, that impressed me about him was his ability to make decisions quickly. Very often you, uh, you find a number of persons who can't make decisions and some who can make decisions who take such a long time to make those decisions that by the time they're made, the, um, it, it's useless. But I found that he was able to make his mind up about certain matters and to act rather promptly. Robert Milton Cato was born on the 3rd of June 1915. He won a government scholarship and attended the St. Vincent's Boys Grammar School from 1928 to 1933. On leaving school, the young Cato was articled to a barrister at law in Kingstown and subsequently began his career in law. Before going on to the Middle Temple Inn in 1945, however, he joined the 1st Canadian Army. He attained the rank of sergeant and engaged in active service in France, Belgium, Holland and Germany during the time of the Second World War. After the war, Mr. Cater proceeded to England to study law. He was called to the bar at Middle Temple Inn in 1948. On his return home, he went into private practice. At the same time, he identified himself with the civic and political aspirations of Vincentians and made his contributions to the growth and development of the country, even before he emerged as a politician. He would have come in at a most interesting time in the history of St. Vincent in that in 1951, we crossed the bar into uh, adult suffrage. And then by 1961, we, we were there in association with Britain. And finally, in 1979, we got ourselves independent. No, um, a lot of things happened around that time. But we should never forget that when St. Vincent became independent, the Soufre had erupted on the 13th of March in the same year. And when we became independent, there were still Vincentians of the 20,000 who were evacuated without a single death during the actual eruption. There are several of those uh, persons still living in evacuation camps when we became independent. And so perhaps it was um, the, the, the responsibility of the administration during that period, more or less to keep the country together. As a matter of fact, I think that um, during the, the, the actual, at the very beginning of the eruption, it is on record that he said, don't panic. And he kept repeating that, don't panic. And I suppose um, over the next few months, he was able to keep his cool to a certain extent and um, keep the country together when we were um, under a series of problems that would have resulted from the eruption itself. He was a chairman of the King's Downtown Board in 1952 and a member until 1959. He served also as chairman of the Labour Advisory Board and as a member of the Public Service Commission and the Central Housing and Planning Authority. He was an elective representative of St. Vincent in the short-lived West Indies Federal Parliament and a chairman of the Regional Development Agency. 
A longtime supporter of track and field, Mr. Cater was president of the St. Vincent Cricket Association and a member of the Windward Islands and West Indies Cricket Boards of Control. Head of the St. Vincent Labour Party, Mr. Cater was elected to the office of Chief Minister on 19th May 1967. He was St. Vincent's first Premier on the country's attainment of statehood on the 27th of October 1969. When St. Vincent and the Grenadines attained political independence on the 27th of October 1979, Mr. Cato had achieved two enviable firsts, St. Vincent's first Premier and its first Prime Minister. Britain ran the affairs of the country from outside of the country. Now, as they got a little closer, when we got into after adult suffrage and after association with Britain, the, the question of ministerial um, appointments and so on came online, and that meant that they were giving you an opportunity to um, group yourself up in different departments and take care of those departments. It's a way towards taking full control of everything. The only thing I think that at that time Britain maintained was your, the control and your, your security and, and so on. But they gave um, those leaders, those early leaders, the opportunity to get their hands on the wheel and how to run a government, um, a ministerial sort of form of government. It would have been the feeling of the people too that we had come a long distance and by that time we should move one step closer to taking um, the, the affairs of the country into the hands of persons who were uh, from the country itself. Britain at that stage was perhaps ready to get rid of most of the colonies and St. Vincent was no exception. And so we gained our independence in spite of the fact that there may have been a slight division in the camp. I think uh, based on what we saw at the independence celebration, the people themselves were very much for it. I don't think that there was any division in terms of whether they wanted independence or not, so much as um, the, the, the conditions under which we achieved the independence. Perhaps, Perhaps we shouldn't even think very much about it now because that is what democracy is all about. Everybody thinking the same would not be democracy, that would be something else. Mr. Cato, the longtime representative of East St. George constituency, retired from active politics following his party's defeat in the 1984 general elections. He died on the 10th of February, 1997. His hope was for unity in Vincentian society and a brighter future for the people. The Kingstown General Hospital was renamed in his honor in October of 2000. Robert Milton Cato, the father of independence. Greetings St. Vincent, I just want to say happy independence, eat the fruits, stay healthy, check with the trendsetters, we have everything you need here. We have the cold fruits, drinks, the fruits and everything, bless. Land of my birth, I